Welcome to the lecture on n versus n minus 1. I am using the same example that I used to describe the previous lecture. If you have not watched the previous lecture, please go and watch the previous lecture and watch this lecture. Now the question is, why do we use capital N for the population standard deviation? And to calculate sample standard deviation, why do we use n minus 1? There are so many explanations for that, but I can explain that using the simple example that I discussed previously. As I mentioned, this is a population of 3301 pregnant mothers, where their height or the population mean, mu is 154.16. Standard deviation 5.74, standard error is 0.1. These are constants. These two are constants. Standard deviation is population, and this is constant. One of the main observations is look at the means here. You reduce the sample size from this side. Once you are reducing the sample size, Again, you are taking random samples, you are getting slightly lower value or slightly upper value to the original mean. So that's why you can draw a sampling distribution. When you are drawing a sampling distribution, you will get a distribution where in the center you have mu x bar or the mean of means which is almost same as the population mean. But look at what has happened to the standard deviation. 5.74, 5.7, 5.5, 5.6, all are okay. But after some point, when your sample size is so less, the standard deviation is going down. Standard deviation is measure of dispersion, how the values are distributed. What happens with the low sample size is the probability of capturing the outliers will be lower with the low sample size. With the low sample size, the outlier probability of including the outliers is less. Because of that, dispersion will be lower. So you can see the standard deviation will be slightly less compared to the original standard deviation. Reason is the range of the population and the range of the sample will be less. Because of that, the dispersion might be less in the samples. So keep in mind, I will go to the next part. The means will be almost same as the original mean, but the standard deviation will be slightly less than this. Okay, let's Recall what has happened to the mean. Assume that this is population distribution where the population mean, mu is there and sigma is there. You are taking multiple samples. The first sample, the mean is x bar 1. The second sample, the mean is x bar 2. I like that you are taking till the nth sample which is x bar n. And if you can remember, you can draw the sampling distribution where the center is there, so you will get x bars like this and those x bars will create take the shape of normal distribution. And in the center you will have something called mu x bar which is almost same as mu. This mean is an unbiased estimator, but you can remember the previous one. I told you, when the sample size is lower, the standard deviation is going down. Assume that you can draw a distribution. This is the population distribution. You take multiple samples and S1, this is the sample distribution, S1 and S2, like that N sample where you have Sn. And this is the sampling distribution for standard deviations where in the center you have the 
sigma value sigma is the population standard deviation and you are trying to estimate sigma using these s's you can remember the previous example these s's these standard deviations are less than the sigma if we draw a normal distribution for sigma you will get s but those s's will be something like this the every s or most of the s's will be something like this and you will get a normal distribution but that will be slightly less than the original standard deviation which is sigma that is the reason to get n minus 1 where mean is unbiased estimator so you will the mu x bar and mu will be almost same but if you do the same thing for standard deviation the ultimate value will be less because all the standard deviations are less than sigma or most of the standard deviations are less than sigma so the average will be definitely less than original standard deviation or sigma then why this n minus 1 let's consider that part I will give you a very simple mathematical example. Look at here 5 divided by 5, 1. 25 divided by 25, 1. 100 divided by 100, 1. Now we will reduce denominator by just one point. 5 divided by 4, 1.25. 25 divided by 24, 1.04. 100 divided by 99, 1.01. .01. What is the change from 1? By changing just 1, just 1 from the denominator, you have achieved here 1 to 1.5, which is 25%. By changing just 1 from the denominator, with large sample, this is small sample with 5 individuals, 25 slightly higher value slightly this is a bigger sum here by reducing just one you have achieved 1 to 1.05 just 4 percent here you have achieved 1 to 1.01 just 1 percent what is the difference you can remember in the previous example the standard deviation that you are estimating by using small samples will be far less than the original standard deviation because of that you use n minus 1 and you achieve 25 percent or higher percentage by changing just one for moderate ones you are achieving the proportion less it is okay because here the error is high because low sample size to correct higher error you correct higher proportion in the other way with the moderate sample size you are correcting that the other way around here it's bit higher sample size by using n minus 1 you are achieving just one percent the slight error you are trying to correct by changing one from the denominator so keep in mind this n minus 1 is a magic number which is really important in statistics when you are dealing with samples. I hope you are clear about the difference between n and n minus 1.